Hello, my name is Andrew Grant, and today I wanted to show you how to create, modify, and edit a PDF document in Mac OS X version 10.5. What I'd like to show you is that built into the Apple operating system you can create a PDF from anything you can see on the screen basically by selecting file and print. If you can print it you can create a PDF. If you can't print it you can always do a screenshot and create images of whatever you see on your screen through screenshots and for more information about that you should uh, take a look at my video on how to work with screenshots. Uh, here I have a web page brought up in Safari and I want to create a sample PDF to work with here to show you exactly how we're going to create it. Here we go. I'm going to go up to File and select Print and notice it says Print Current Frame. Now this is something that you may wonder about. If you're in a web browser and you have frames where the web page is separated into two separate parts, in Safari I know if you right click on any one portion you can print just that frame. However, there's also the option to print the window. So if you'd like to print the entire web browser window with all the frames, you can select the print window. Notice here in the preview, the uh, left side frame is also included with the main body frame. So if you've ever wondered about that, that's kind of cool. For right now, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and select this frame and go ahead and say File, Print Current Frame. And you'll notice it's just the right side of the page. So what I'd like to do here is to set whatever print uh, preferences I want. How many copies. Uh, here's a great situation where if you take a look at the document and you decide, hey, there's page 3 of 4. Page 4 is blank. I don't want page 4. You can come over here and say print page 1 to 3. And instead of selecting print to print it to your printer, select the PDF pull down and select Save as PDF. And then what you'll see here is a uh, Save as dialog. Now, if yours looks like this, if you're ever in an open, a save, any kind of dialog that looks like this, please be sure to click this little square here. It gives you so much more information. It's a miniature finder window with your icon list and column views available. Notice it gives you a title, and uh, the title is here as well as here. You can put some information in that PDF if you'd like. But basically, you're going to put a title and select a destination. I'm going to choose Desktop, and you're going to select Save. And now, notice right here on the desktop, we have a PDF now. If we go ahead and click and quick look that, we can see that we have one, two, three pages, not four. And so that worked out very well. Now what I'm going to do is, this was chapter 1 of Genesis in the King James Bible. We're going to go ahead and select chapter 2 and we're going to print that as well. And instead of file print, I'm just going to right click and select print frame. Just another way of doing the same thing. I'm going to take a look at my pages. Again, it ends on page 3. So I'm going to come here and select 1 to 3. I'm going to select uh, PDF, save as PDF. I almost clicked print there. Now I'm going to call this uh, KJV Book of Genesis 2. Uh, just to differentiate from the first one, I'm going to go ahead and save that. Notice we have now have two PDFs here on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is get rid of Safari here, and we're going to work with these PDFs. I'm going to double click the first one, and it will open up in Preview. Now in Preview, you can see that we have three pages here on the right. If you do not see your pages, you can simply select the sidebar to appear or disappear. Uh, that can also be done in the view menu. Select sidebar. I like my sidebar to be able to work with pages. You'll notice I can take a page, hold the mouse down, and drag it, and this red line appears, indicating where this new page will be placed in the order. So that's how you can modify the page order on a PDF. Let's go ahead and take a look at merging PDFs. Now, there's a second PDF here. You can see it just opened up over here in another preview window. I can actually take a page from here and drag it out of that preview into the next one. Now, you notice there's a green ball uh, near my mouse showing that I will be making a copy of this page. I'm not removing it from the original document. And the red line shows up to tell me where it is that it will be placed in the order of that document. Now, by letting go of the mouse, I can see here that I now have chapter 2 verses 11 through 23 as my fourth page 
and if I wanted to I can actually bring in page, uh, the first page of that. Now you can see we have five pages in our document. We go from the end of Genesis chapter 1 into Genesis chapter 2 and it just seems to flow. So that's one way of doing that. We can select documents. I'm holding down my shift key and clicking two of them and then I'm going to command delete and you notice I just got rid of the two extra pages we added to this document. Now if you wanted to merge multiple PDF files together like we have here, I've got this first one open. I can take this second one and just drag it in. Notice dragging the whole document just like dragging a single page from one preview document to another, I can let go and the entire document has been appended to this one wherever that red line was, which happened to have been at the end of my document. One of the other things I wanted to show you how to do here was how to mark up or modify a PDF. Notice when we go to the Tools menu here, we can choose to mark up highlight, strike through, or underline text, or we can annotate, which is to add an oval, add a rectangle, add a note, or add a link. So as I select text here, by the way, I have to drag my mouse over text. Now those tool menus for markup will become available. They were grayed out before. So I could, for instance, highlight this text, and you'll now see it's highlighted in yellow as though we had a highlighter marker on it. I can come over here and drag across this and select markup underline text. Um, I, also what we can do is we can select the markup tools such as an oval and you might want to come over here and say well let's just draw an oval right here and let go and now I can hold down my mouse and drag that oval it's only on the bottom right corner. Can you drag it to the right, up or down? So if I wanted to make this a real skinny oval, I can then grab it in the middle with the mouse and line it up just the way I want. Click off and there you have it. Well that sums up our tutorial for how to create, edit, markup, modify PDF documents. Don't forget to save your documents when you're done editing them or adding to them.